we all love our GPS services. And pinpointing our direct location is part of how we interact with each other on social media. But when we readily give this information up, what third party has access to it? Is this something we really consider? Do you guys think your privacy is at risk when you're using GPS applications? Yeah, because they'll know where we are. Um, well, I don't really use Facebook to notify people where I am yeah, because... I don't really either. Yeah, I've used a GPS before. You don't want people knowing exactly where you are all the time. It's obviously a very useful tool to be able to get around with, but I don't think it's necessary for them to know where you are. Does it worry you about what people are doing with that information, whether it's being sold to a third party? Yeah, well, it's pretty dodgy if you have a lot of friends on Facebook. Yeah, I don't want no strangers knowing where I live. It's not like they're hiding it. I mean, every time I've downloaded an app with location service, first time you use it, it, it asks you, do you, do you allow it to be turned on? You know, and you've got to be pretty off the ball not to, you know, not to realise that you're giving away information. I find that even my stepson, I'm having to sort of warn him at 15 that, you know, he's got to be very careful that he's not sending pictures or saying things that people can search for in the future so that when he's um, looking for employment, you know, all of that information is available on the web and that's a lot of the things that they don't realise, that it's there forever, even if you delete it. I'd, I'd try to promote to my kids, you know, just to keep that information back and internet's so big these days and you don't know, like one stupid photo you uploaded or sent around can haunt you 15 years later. Do, do you think that we generally share just too much information online? Um, yeah, yeah. probably. A lot of people do, <laughs> more than they should. <laughs> more than they should, yeah. yeah. It's the most important thing for them to share the things online. If you hit OK, it's like a contract sort of thing to me, and if you're going to be careless about it then, and then you're going to complain about it later, well, <laughs> what's the point? Like, you know, you really should just improve yourself rather than complaining about people's privacy laws. I'm actually not on Facebook at all. I don't, I don't agree with it, so. Do you think we live our lives vicariously through Facebook and things like this? I think so, yeah, yeah. because um, your privacy settings, you don't always have it on your friends. Sometimes the public can see it as well. I'm, I'm quite private, so I don't post every, a photo every day or my check-in and, you know, my Facebook page is very limited, but there are people out there who, you know, my friends, who I can see on the newsfeed every day, it's a photo of their kids, and then, you know, I feel like I've, I've been every day with their kids sort of thing, and, and that's too much. If in doubt whether you're sharing too much information online, don't. Don't put a target on your back. The internet is a vast wasteland of identity thieves and hackers. Don't give up too much information and look after yourselves. This has been Jackie O'Leary reporting for Undercurrent.